and we can't wait for this men's final. I'm going to hand over once again to Michael Absalom. Thank you very much, Joey. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for taking your seats nice and promptly. We're all set to go for the men's final this year at the 2022 World Championships. Coming to you live from the National Museum of Egyptian Civilization. It's time to take your seats and let's get the players out onto court. Another battle royale to look forward to here and another Egyptian all encounter in this men's final. So let's get the players out onto court and we'll start with a player who's the current world number three. He has been as high as world number one before. 614 appearances now on the PSA World Tour with 44 PSA titles to his name. Victory in the semi-finals over Paul Cole by three games to two and a 14th world championship. He is the 2017 world champion and makes his fifth world championship appearance with us this evening. From Egypt, the beast of Alexandria, Mohamed El Shabagi! <laughs> And his opponent this evening is the number two seed, another former world number one, and the current world number two. 389 appearances on the PSA World Tour with 27 PSA titles. He beat Mustafa Asal by three games to two in his semi-final match yesterday and makes his fifth world championship appearance with us tonight. A two-time world champion from 2019 and 2021. Please welcome back the defending champion, Ali Fala! World Championships, the Cairo 2022, <laughs> men's final match. So Mohamed, Mohamed El Shabagi of Egypt, the number to three serve. seed. Ali Farag of Egypt, champion, to receive. World one, taking on the current world number Best two. of five games. And world champion, Level. defending world champion Ali Farag, both from Egypt. And we're in to this men's world championship final live from Cairo. Johnny Boy. Who are you going for? Who's going to take this title? I'm leaning, leaning Ali Farag, but not by very much. I'm going to give it a percentage, 55, 45. That's how close I think it'll be. Score? 3 2. Again. That's what they did at the Egyptian Open at the Pyramids last year. Shabaki got off to a flyer, 2 0 up. And he got reeled in by Farag. I'm absolutely sure that Gregory Goltier has had a chat with his charge, Mohamed El Shabagi, that the first game must belong to him. Farag's had a habit of starting slowly. We saw it yesterday again against Asal. working his way into these matches. No let. No let. Well, he won't review it. <laughs> that was a pretty immaculate One rally love. from Mohamed El Shabagi, working the ball in beautifully to the front corners. That's the area that Mohamed El Shabagi. To love. That's the area he wants that ball to be. In the last World Championship final, although he lost, he does hit a lot of his winners from the mid right hand side area. Let's not forget, Joey. What's he doing? Yes, let. I yeah. mean, he's, he's looking again, and, and Mohamed's not bad at an eyelid there. <laughs> Barry Lee. 
you know you're courtside there, but he's kind of going in with that strange preparation there. He's got to be careful with that Ali Farag, don't you think? Yeah, I think it might be a few early nerves from Farag, just looking at a few of the movements, but um, I'm sure he'll build into this, but you're right, yeah, he needs to just keep looking at that ball. <laughs> well, a very strong start here from Mohamed El Shabagi. Free love. Yeah, Ali Farag just doesn't want to just see the first game slip away. I think it's well worth his while to invest harder physically and be aware of the slow starts that he's had. He's actually lost the last four Big games good. against El Shabagi, although off. they're split two and two. He's lost the first game the last four times, quite clearly. And again, it's another winner on the volley mid-right. That's where Shabagi hit most of his winners from in their last encounter in the World Championship final when they played in Chicago. And setting it up there. Down. He just his movement there, El Shabagi just loosened his body ever so One slightly. Four. Watch here on this cross court. Nick attempt didn't, didn't hold the tension in his body as he should have. Yes, led. Sufficient interference. One four. On the other side of the coin, when Farag is really hurting Shabagi, he's using using that mid to to front area on the back hand side or left hand side. That's where he gets his most success. In that sort of area there. That's where Farag wants to be to apply the screws and. Maximise pressure against Shabagi. Just want to say a quick shout out to Jamie Abbott from Cross Court Analytics for providing me with these wonderful details. Again, very, very useful information, especially at the start of the match because we're already starting to see those patterns unfold. Johnny Life is one big pattern. Not up. That looked not up. That looked not up. Video referee, please check. All was good. All was good. Mr. Shabagi's pick up front right. All good. All, good. All good. The ball was good. Ball was good. It doesn't really matter good. though, does ball it? Was good. He's won the rally. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Let. One four. So he's playing the let ball. Sorry. Ali Farag being applauded for his sportsmanship. That's a sight and a half there out the back there, Joey. That is full. That grandstand is packed to the rafters. Hand out. Five, one. Lovely finish again, Shabagi dominating this short line area, getting a lot of tea time and taking every opportunity. Farag for his part, just, I don't know, Joey, it's just a little bit all too casual. Like, that is a casual volley. I know, I agree. Attention to detail, there's a big difference between that. What's happening, everything is Six, being thought one. about, his targets are being hit. And I, I feel Farag just slightly flapping around a bit. I know he's got his own way. It's a very special way. Just relaxing on the couch, on the sofa next to Lee Drew before the match starts for quite some time. When you see this, you sort of ask the question, you know? Well, I'll tell you one thing, Johnny. French general never did that. It was uh, the most extensive warm-up, really. I've ever seen from a squash player, so that will certainly be instilled into Mohamed El Shabagi as well. Come out those traps. Listening with sweat, ready out. to take it up, but Barag starts to weave the web, and that's where the deception Two happens in terms six. of how he reacts. And we've seen the pattern, you talk about patterns, we've seen that happen with 
the battles between these two on quite an occasion where Shabagi has dominated the first phase completely and utterly, and then it changes. Flip of a coin, it goes. The Farag starts upping it and producing very accurate, devastating squish. That's the key word. I'm looking that he, with his body language and his racket prep and intensity of hitting, he shows us that he's doing that, that he's going to up it. Type of Three, rally six. where Ali Farag begins to make the investment. Very solid investment, and those rewards will start to pay themselves back twofold. He maintains that kind of pressure. Lovely, it's a softening of the hands there. Very delicate. You do take the space right out of the ball, four, it has to be pinpoint six. perfect. A little bit of risk attached with that shot, but it's perfectly placed and balanced. That's a great adjustment. <laughs> and out. There's the tennis Seven, end four. back to, the, to Gaultier. Incredible shot, that. Yeah, he did up very well. Trying to think of what kind of technique that is. I don't know what he... It's just his natural improvisation there. Him pin bowling. Well, they have been known to do a bit of that for relaxation. So when Greg gets his finger stuck in the ball. Squash. This is oh, very accurate. Very, very accurate again from Shibagi. He's taken the pace off beautifully, considering you know, it's a lively new ball, Johnny. He's conducted the front of the court really well here. Yeah, and he wasn't unnerved by the fact that he, the previous two or three high quality balls were brought back. Just didn't let that phase him whatsoever. Oh, wow. <laughs> and out. It was a bit special from Farag. It wasn't Five, a, eight. get the cross-court nick. Oh, my word, that's like a forward defensive in cricket. Exactly what I was thinking. It's Alex please, Goff, the CEO. Okay, thank Just thank wanting you. to be on there. Five, eight. Playing these guys, former PSA World Tour player himself. So comfortable on camera. Is absolute slam down. <laughs> but what I like about Nine this is five. the control of the racket head. He's got some pace through it, but it's, you know, he's controlled it nicely. His body hasn't, he hasn't moved his body adversely. It was all nice flow, balance. See, a lot of winners. Well, this is exactly what the winners. Farag has made his move. He's coming back at him, but the ability of Shabagi to shut the rally down with an outright brilliant winner. Well, it's the adaptability of the game, and it just goes to show, doesn't it? Those long duration rallies testing up and down the side walls, and then the adaptability of, with the new ball and the early start, taking the ball in, controlling it in the front of the court, and being quite devastating with his short game, Johnny. 
no doubt this is something the Greek Gold here is adding, and that's another beautiful shot. We yeah. are seeing winners are us here, Johnny. It is. We are, Johnny, and they're bringing the best out Six of each nine. other. Quality of the attacks are now going up from Farag, but Shabagi has he done enough to see out this first game with a three-point lead at 9-6. Watching, I'm focusing on Shabagi's movement when Farag just has that late hold in each shot. You can see how he has that ability, like nobody else, to just stop Shabagi's movement momentarily. And that's what, over the long duration, will eat away. And there you see it. Comeback is on. Always, it just it takes me back to seven nine match with Paul Cole though. When it's that. It's, Serving from the left box, Ali Farag's parents, Mike Way, his brother Wild Farag. We didn't get to see that serve. It's a it good was serve, Joe. He's on the side ball early. Tee it up for the forehand volley of Shabagi. Squeeze the air out in there. Yeah, well, I wouldn't say that squeezed. Sorry, Johnny. I, you know, it was an opportunity Eight, more nine. than anything. I wouldn't say that squeezed there. Look, it's a dolly drop in comparison. It was a bit of a fee from Farag. He's lucky there. Very lucky. Second, second glance. I take it back. You're right. It was. It's like a Jancheresque retrieval from Farag. Oh, he's trapped him. He's trapped him nicely shot. there. What a great shot. And out. Control punching That's enough fine. through the ball. 10 8. Very good movement as well. Holding his Gangle. balance. Impressive first game. What quality squash we've seen in this men's world championship final as Mohamed El Shabagi serves with two game balls. Incredible, Joe. This is the best quality of the game at 10 8. We've already seen a lot of it. What a rally! Let me yes, let Mr. Shabaki, you took his line me? there. Yes, let it was my shot to play. Yeah, it was your movement across there, and that's Policy the reason the why Shibagi I'm giving the shot. was really good if you. I mean, we're looking at the Ten movement. Eight, game ball. The quality of the shot there. I mean, it's a very From good shot, the right. Johnny. Very it good shot. Did adjust his movement across, and that's what Jason Foster pointed out. I think it's good that he just sort of sent out a, a mild warning. Good pressure to the back of the court from Farag. He's doing Shabak. He's bounding around. He's foul. He did him. Ooh. He had him on. Toast. Out. Had him Nine on toast ten. here, Joey. Game ball. How lucky for Ali Farag. He was off. He was off, Johnny. He was off to the, to the castle. Still a game ball for Shabagi.
Good adjustment there from Farrow. That ball got that, that deep backhand was a bit awkward to take. Takes the first One game, game to love. What a quality first game between these two players. Free flowing. All four corners being utilised. Wonderful skill set at the front of the court, particularly from Mohamed El Shabagi. Hugely impressed. 19 minutes, healthy duration, Johnny Boy. Mohamed El Shabagi leading the current world champion and number two seed, Farag by one game to love.